Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well today we're going to make this fantastic 3D cover slider and that's a beautiful effect to have on your site. And to do this today we're going to be using the Divi Essentials plugin. Uh, they've got 40 total modules, 400 plus layouts and 500 plus downloads. And you get an awesome amount of extra modules for your Divi theme with this. So let's get started. For anybody that wants to check it out, I'll put my affiliate link below this video. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. And once loaded, I'm going to go down. I'm simply going to get rid of this whole section and we'll start from scratch. So by default, it puts in a section. I'm going to put in a row. I'm going to put in a single column. I'm going to slide down. Divi comes with all the light grey modules as standard. When you add the essentials, you get all of these blue ones right here, and there are plenty of them. And of course, here are more of the original Divi ones. But today, I'm going to use the cover slider. There we go. Next cover flow slider. It doesn't put anything in for you as default. So the first thing we need to do is add a new item. And you've got various different layouts. You've got image, text, text inside the image, and text below the image. For mine today, I'm going to use text inside the image. As you can see, it puts some text in there for us. And let's go ahead and put an image in. There we go. And let's just change the title. To reflect the image. I know we can't see the text but we'll take care of that in a moment. Now of course you can link each of these slides to wherever you want by just adding a link here. If you're linking to your own site leave it in the same window. If you're linking to an external site I'd recommend doing it in a new tab so your site stays open. Okay well let's go over to our design. Text settings. Heading level, I'm going to make mine an H2. Let's make it so we can see it. I'll slide down, make it white. Let's capitalize it, put it in the middle. Let's make it a little bit bigger. There we go, something like that. And of course, you can adjust, change the font uh, type and weight. All the regular things you can do with any DV text module. Okay, rolling on down, let's go to our content settings, that's the text below, and let's make it so we can see it first. And there we go, that's made that text white. I'm going to put mine in the middle. And it's great, you can slide it left or right with the vertical position, with the horizontal position I should say, and up and down with the vertical position. So place it wherever it is you want it. I think I'm going to leave mine just as it is for the moment. Again, you can change the default font style and size for the content there. I'm going to leave all of mine just as it is. Okay, let's go down to spacing. And text the heading margin at the top here. Let's give it, say, 20 pixels. There we go, that's on the bottom, and we'll put a bit on the top too. There we go, and let's add a little bit to the content as well, just left and right. I'll give it 20 left and right. Great. So I'll leave everything else as it is. I don't want to add a border or box shadow at the moment, because I'm planning to put a dark background on so you won't see the box shadow. Don't want to use any filters. So I'm pretty happy with that. So once you're happy with the first one, Go ahead and clone it. Hit the two little boxes, or you can create another one from scratch if you prefer. I'm going to go ahead and clone it. So we've got several to work with. And as you can see, it's put in that sort of effect for us there right away. Now we're back in the main carousel cover, cover flow slider settings. Let's go down to the carousel settings themselves. Yeah, I want it to autoplay. Autoplay delay, let's say three seconds or 3000 milliseconds. 
I do want it to loop, go round and round and round. Um, I'm going to have a centre slide, so there's one in the middle all the time. Like that. That's great. Now we can change the speed. At the moment that's fine for me. 400, it's taking 400 milliseconds to slide from one to the other. That's absolutely fine. You can choose how many slides you want to view right here. So I've simply put five in there. And you can change the space between. Make it bigger, smaller, however you will. Navigation settings, we've well, got bullets below there. But you can use a grab cursor if you want to change the cursor when they hover over it. You can use arrow navigation if you want to. And I'll put an arrow left and right either side. I'm going to leave that one off, I think. And you've got bullets, like we said. You can have a fraction. Or I think it's actually on the image so we can't see it. And you can have a progress bar too. And you'll see that at the top and it shows you what sort of progress you're on on each slide there. I'm going to leave mine on bullets. Or actually probably just have none for this, but those bullets are quite nice. I, I quite like that. Now the effect settings down below. Use slide shadows. I'm going to go ahead and do that even though I've got dark slides here. It just puts shadows on the ones that are in the back a little bit there. So move this down a little bit. There we go. And you can rotate your slides and get some crazy effects going. A little bit too much for me there. Slide stretch, you can make them bigger or smaller. Just to add to your effects. I'm going to leave mine as it was. I want them fairly flat looking right there. Slide depth you can add in and out and it'll make these side ones smaller or bigger. You can have them all the same if you want them to rotate the same way. And if you play with it and don't like what you've got there, you can simply select it, hit the delete and it'll go back to the default for you. Now you can link the whole module to something there, but I really don't need to do that. But what I will do is I'll make this row full width so it takes up the whole of the screen here. Just make this a little bit smaller so we can see what's going on. Okay, now I'm going to go save that. I'm going to go into my row, the green tab. I'm going to hit the little cog. I'm going to go to design. I'm going to go to sizing. And I'm going to pull the width all the way up to 100%. I'm going to copy that and paste it below in max width, or you can just type it in if you prefer. We've now got 100% width. And we'll just save this. Now we're using all the available space here. So what I want to go in and do now is go in and change the slides, because you don't want the same slide for every single one. So I'm simply going to go in, I'm going to go into the next one, I'm going to change the image, and I'll give it a new name, and I'll pause this and I'll quickly do the rest. Okay, well I've changed all the images, I've changed the title, I've left the content there because I really don't have much content, and changed the link. So we're good to go now. And the only thing I've got left to do is I want to add a dark background to this section here. So I'm going to save my changes. I'm going to go into the section tab, which is the blue one right here, hit the little cog. I'm going to go down to background. I'm going to give mine a gradient today. You've got color, gradient, image, or video. I'm going to go for a gradient. And let's have a look. I want to make it blue, but a lot darker than that. Sort of a night sky sort of blue, something like that. And for the bottom one, I'm going to make it black. Of course, this is all entirely up to you. 
Let that blue can be a little bit lighter, perhaps. There we go, something like that. And let's save our changes and we should be good to go. And let's exit the Visual Builder. And there we are. There is our full width cover flow slider. And that is just a wonderful effect. I really like that. When you hover over it, it's going to pause. If you put a link in, you'll be able to click on the link and go to wherever you want. When you take your mouse off, it should resume. And there we go. The only other thing I really need to do is make those dots white so we could see them. So there is how to create a 3D cover flow carousel slider with the fantastic Divi Essentials plugin. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.